Dillashaw won't let Cody Garbrandt tuck his way into another title shot, reveals injury. Family time isn't the only thing keeping UFC bantamweight champ, TJ. Dillashaw from accepting an immediate rematch with his former teammate and rival, Cody Garbrandt. Injuries are also an issue, Dillashaw told Majunkie on Monday. I'm doing some rehab here for the next 7, 8 weeks. Trying to get back to being healthy, he said. Dillashaw, 15-3 MMA, 11-3 UFC, declined to disclose specifics. But he said it's been serious enough to get checked out by UFC medical staff. He said he informed the promotion he needed time to recover after winning the belt from Garbrandt, 11-1 MMA, 6-1 UFC, this past November at UFC 217. By the time the ex-champ started talking up an immediate rematch at UFC 222, Dillashaw indicated that ship had already sailed. Barring a big offer from the promotion, Dillashaw said he won't take a short notice fight when he hasn't been training, is injured and wants to spend time with his newborn son. Trading shots, TJ Dillashaw gives good reasons for turning down short notice title defense. But will fans understand? They called me, and we were talking about fighting at UFC 222 against Garbrandt. Dillashaw said, anything's possible, but it just depends. It's definitely not something I want to do right now. I want to enjoy my time with my kid and heal up and get healthy. Obviously, if they need it desperately, that was something that was in talks, but it wasn't. The case. They weren't able to do anything for a bigger offer. UFC 222 is in need of a pay-per-view headliner less than one month from the March 3rd event. Featherweight champ Max Holloway was forced to withdraw from the main event with ex-lightweight champ Frankie Edgar due to injury. Garbrandt on Monday welcomed a bout with Edgar but not before offering Dillashaw a portion of his purse to sweeten the pot. Dillashaw, though, said he's now focused on a superfight with flyweight champion Demetrius Johnson at UFC 226 which takes place July 7, from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Garbrandt thinks he can talk his way into another title fight like he already did. Dillashaw said, he didn't deserve the first shot he got with Dominic Cruz. He did great with it, and he looked awesome. I don't think that was the healthy Dominic Cruz that we've all seen. But I'm not going to let him say that he didn't even deserve. Bang, Ludwig, Demetrius Johnson vs. TJ Dillashaw has to happen for the history books. Garbrandt was not immediately available when contacted by Majunkie for comment. Dillashaw knocked out Garbrandt this past November to reclaim the UFC bantamweight belt and he believes his former foe should work his way back into contention before being granted another title shot. He's never even defended his belt. Dillashaw said, it wasn't even his belt, in my mind. Cruz is the only guy he's ever fought in the top five. I lost my belt, and I had to go fight number one contenders to get my shot. So he needs to get to the back of the line and work his way back up and prove that he belongs. It's tough to get there, but it's even tougher to stay there and get back. Right now, Dillashaw is focused on trying to cement his status as a pound-for-pound -pound great by defeating Johnson, whom he's repeatedly called out. The benefit he would receive from that win would far outstrip what Garbrandt could offer. I bet Dominic Cruz $100,000 to do a rematch, and it didn't work out. Dillashaw said. And I feel like it's the same scenario. I've got bigger fish to fry. 
I'm looking to be the best pound for pound guy. I'm going to go out there and beat Demetrius Johnson and be a double champ, be the no. One pound for pound fighter in the world, and see what happens from there. Don't look back, we're here to stay A life we knew would come one day And this is